Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. It's been a while since we posted our last full video, but if you have been keeping track of our video shorts, you will notice that we have visited quite a few interesting places around the world in the last few months. So we have some hopefully interesting videos in our pipeline. Today we would like to share with you our impressions of our visit to several locations in the vicinity of Thun Lake in Switzerland. We started our journey with a trip aboard a scenic Nisebound funicular, reaching a point offering a breathtaking views of the Jungfrau Massif. The Nisebound funicular has been operating since 1906. It carries passengers up the slopes of the Nissan mountain in the Bernice Oberland region. This ride is a thrilling experience. You'll be treated to amazing views of the nearby peaks, beautiful alpine meadows and the sparkling waters of Lake Thun. At the summit station there is a restaurant and observation deck for visitors to enjoy the views. After our descent, we moved to the nearby town of Spiez by train. The history of Spiez starts in the 8th century, when a Benedictine abbey was established on the shores of Lake Thun. The abbey became an influential center of power and learning in the region. In the 10th century, a picturesque castle overlooking the lake was constructed. It still remains an important landmark in Spiez. During the Swiss Reformation, the town became a stronghold of the new Protestant faith. In the 19th century, Spiez emerged as a popular summer resort for European aristocracy. They were drawn to the town's picturesque setting, mild climate and many opportunities for outdoor recreation, especially hiking in the nearby mountains. A great way to travel between Spiez and Thun is by a boat. The vintage passenger boats used for this route date back to the late 19th century, when they were first introduced to transport tourists. It is a great way to relax and soak in the stunning natural beauty of the region. Many locals and visitors alike use this as a pleasant transit option between the two towns 
rather than driving or taking the train. It's a perfect way to slow down and enjoy the journey. The city of Thun enjoys a picturesque location on the shores of the lake with the same name. The history of Thun dates back at least to the Roman era. The town's name is likely derived from Celtic Dunum, meaning fortified town. In the Middle Ages, Thun was an influential center of power, with a well-preserved castle that has overlooked the town and the Are River since the 12th century. The castle's tower now provides panoramic views of the stunning alpine scenery. Thun played a key role in the Swiss Reformation in the 16th century. During the Napoleonic era, Thun became an important garrison town, with the Swiss army establishing a major training center here. In the late 19th century, Thun transformed into a popular tourist destination. Today, the town's medieval core with its cobblestone streets and half-timbered buildings coexist alongside contemporary architecture and a thriving cultural scene. Thank you for watching our video and stay tuned for more.